It has been 16 years in the making. Record Store Day is this Saturday. Andy Skinner from Indie CD and Vinyl is with me. You're one of the co-founders of this. Um, I, I was talking with Brenda about the notion of old school. Uh, this really isn't old school. We've got a lot of young people that are getting into vinyl, don't we? That's exactly right. Um, you know, the, the historically, yes, you know, it's it's been more older people with, with their old record collections, but honestly, what we see every day, young people, uh, men, women, uh, both, you know, male and female identified people just coming in all day buying records, and it's it's... It's so nice to see that the record store once again is like the community center. It's um, awesome. And, and that's what I remember from college. There was a place called Wonderland Records near the University of Delaware. And it wasn't just a record store. It was a place where we, it was, it was a hub intersection for people my age. Uh, all the blue hens hung out there. I heard about this place. <laughs> okay, all right. So it's, it's a legendary joint. So, um, so let's talk about what's going to happen at your place on Saturday. Well, uh, so Record Store Day is just a celebration of the independent record store. There are 1,300 record stores across the country. And how do we all, the musicians, the labels, the distributors, drive business mm -hmm. to local stores? If you love an artist and you want to see their career do well, you will... Uh, buy your physical media at a local record store. The mm -hmm. money goes to the artist and stays in the community the best way. Right. And, and so to celebrate this, there are titles that are only available this Saturday at your local record store, your independent record store. And so we're going to have them all uh, line up, come in, and find some collector's items. The big one this year is this Taylor Swift record. Mm -hmm. um, at I'm, our place. I'm holding up U2 right now. You're holding up the U2. This yeah. is the Taylor Swift record yeah. that will be available this weekend. And at our shop, we have an autographed copy, and we also have uh, a, a prior release of, of hers um, that was only like only 800 were made. And uh -huh. so if you buy the Taylor Swift record from us, you get entered to win one of those items, which is pretty um, cool. And I want to point something out, folks. Um, the stuff we're talking about, guess where you can't get it? Amazon. Mm -mm. You got to go to an independent record store, right? That's exactly right. And so we're just we're, we're helping celebrate the idea that your memory of going to your local store in Delaware, it's the same memory that a, a 15 year old girl or you know an 85 year old guy can come in and, and still experience that community, pick up their favorite artists on vinyl, and have that record literally forever. It will, it will still play in a hundred years if you take care of it. I, I don't want to get too far into the weeds, but I want to ask you about about the technology because I'm, I'm in an awkward position. I no longer have a turntable. Right. You had a, a little hiccup with a move. Not right. Not yeah. Ago. So is that something that, I mean, does your record store sell a, a turntable as well? We do. Uh, uh, you know, anything you want. If, if you've been in the game forever and you want to add to your collection with like actual collectible stuff, uh -huh. we've got it. If you want to start out and come in and get a turntable of, of you know, uh, varying quality, um, you can and and have the option of of you know like picking up the top 200 records from Rolling Stone, okay, and really like building that collection. We 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 have that. And as far as the technology, the beautiful thing about vinyl records is the technology hasn't changed much. The idea is just the same. It picks up the the analog sound wave and shoots it right to your ears. And and, and when you use the term analog, we're we're we're, we're talking about. A warmth in the sound, aren't we? For sure. I mean, you know, I'm not going to knock the idea of streaming. It, it's uh, convenient. Yes, you know, it you is. get in your car, you're not going to be playing a record in your dash. You, you uh, know, um, so I'm not going to knock that. But I will say that um, it just doesn't sound the same. Right. And so there are times where um, you know we're actually streaming something at the shop, and the next thing we want to listen to isn't available on streaming. So we'll actually pull out the record, and immediately we're reminded of what we do for a living. You know, yeah. the, the sound is so much clearer, nicer, warmer, um, you know, and you can't read the liner notes on an MP3. Oh, so. that's what I miss. I miss the liner notes. It's so much fun. It's so. all right here, and so we're going to have it this Saturday at Record Store Day at Indie CD and Vinyl. All right, that's the stuff. How about that, Amber? I miss my old Vistronic turntable. I know you do, and I was trying to relate. <laughs>